Gallant Australia, Hot Off the Presses. January 23, 2020 by Anna Von Reitz. I know that many of my readers have been following the massive destruction of Australia by weather warfare, manipulation of the Southern Hemisphere jet streams and chemtrail incendiary spray, which kills trees causing dry wood for fires, deforestation, and depleted oxygen levels and further sets the stage for massive wildfires, loss of property, loss of life, loss of oxygen and loss of biological diversity. On the ground in Australia there are actually two horns of the dilemma, because the manipulation of the jet stream that causes the tinderbox dry conditions in some areas also means unnaturally wet conditions in other areas, so you have fire and floods going on at the same time. The madmen creating these conditions, particularly those at the Vatican who are paying for the chemtrail spraying and promoting and causing these problems in an effort to sell their bogus human-caused climate change and carbon tax agenda, really do need to be stopped. With pitchforks and sledgehammers if necessary. They need to be stopped by actual Catholics waking up and rallying within the church to oust these criminals and by the governments, especially the Italian government, enforcing sanctions and taking action to make sure it stops. I have pointed out that under the ENMOD treaties of the United Nations Organization, these kinds of geoengineering and weather warfare tests can only be carried out against domestic populations. This means that the Australians, including the indigenous people and the animals which are by no means domestic with respect to the Australian government, are being set up and put through all this by their own politicians and military. I am calling on the Australian tribal leaders and animal rights activists to pound the United Nations Secretary General and Security Council with demands that these tests and the chemtrail spraying cease immediately. We should all, on a planetary basis, demand that the Holy See pay to clean up the pollution and reckless environmental damage that their organization has deliberately funded and caused since 1985. And for what? So that they can find a new excuse to wring more taxes out of people. They have destabilized the entire Earth biosphere, depleted the oxygen, caused the destabilization of the magnetosphere, and now this fire and flood destruction. They have caused the entire problem and all this misery and destruction to provide evidence for their ridiculous quasi-scientific claims, and all to get the brainless people to accept their carbon tax scheme. Everyone, everywhere, every politician in every country, needs to know that carbon dioxide which accounts for 1 300th of 1% of the atmosphere isn't causing this damage. The Holy See and the Roman Curia are causing this damage. And right now, they are causing it to Australia. For those who haven't already heard, chemtrails are proven to contain a veritable cocktail of highly incendiary compounds and elements derived from industrial wastes, aluminum oxide powder, magnesium, barium, strontium, lithium, and more. We also have proof that the Vatican minted a coin celebrating chemtrails as far back as 1985. So now the big mystery about who was funding this massive program to spray unknown crap all over the earth has been solved. We know the purpose and effect of the chemtrails, and we know who to blame the same people who have set themselves up to rule the entire Earth via the United Nations and an interlocking trust directorate scheme affecting slightly over 700 corporations worldwide. Pray for Australia. Be thankful for Australia. Hold a vision in your mind of Australia getting exactly the right amount of rain and sunshine to be completely restored and healthy. Picture Australian meadows full of wild flowers and tall grass. Picture groves of eucalyptus trees and sleepy koala bears. Picture kangaroos hopping through verdant forests and grasslands. Picture thundering waves and teeming seas and healthy coral reefs. Hold Australia in your heart. Australia and Australians have been key to the fight in what I call the war of deceit that these monsters have waged against the unsuspecting people of the earth. It was Australian researchers who first blew the lid on the use of dog Latin by Roman emperors to defraud and mischaracterize people, a criminal system that was first dreamed up by the Emperor Justinian and which is still in use today, the Roman Curia, again. It's because of numerous Australian researcher that the people of the world finally know, what's up with all these names appearing in all capital letters, and also because of them that we can stuff it down the lawyers' lying throats when they say, oh, it doesn't mean anything, pay no attention to that. It's Australian research that also allows us to recognize parse syntax as just another variation of the same old s hash dollar, dollar. One of the ways that we can help our Australian counterparts and ourselves is to become fully informed about the Justinian deception. 
You can now order the Justinian Deception series featuring researcher Romley Stewart, get all the facts, all the documentation, the history back to Roman times, yes, the whole enchilada and proof concerning one of the key mechanisms used to steal your identity and your assets. Here's the eBay link or you can simply go to eBay and type in Justinian Deception and it will pop up. HTTPS colon slash slash tinyurl.com slash glossy channel. Or you can go directly to the GLOSSA channel and order using PayPal by sending them your email address, the GLOSSA channel glossa.channel at gmail.com GPO Box 2197 Sydney, NSW 2001, Australia. Blogspot YouTube channel donate to the GLOSSA channel link our eBay store, The Justinian Deception, featuring Romley Stewart, Limited Edition, Volumes 1 to 6 link Be Ye Not Like Dumb, Driven Cattle. Stop being destroyed for lack of knowledge. These men and women have suffered to bring you this startling insight into the actual evil empire. The least we can do is listen and learn. Please consider making a small donation to help support Anna Von Wrights and the Living Law Firm, by visiting the American States Assembly.net, scroll to the bottom and click on the Donate Now button. Thank you.